So I'm here in Charleston. I'm down on Queen Street and there's a building behind me that they're actually remodeling. So you notice on the second floor, all the buildings here had a facade put on them, but when you look behind the facade, the structure of them all is red brick, in which talked about earlier, the red brick conducts electricity, but those bricks on the interior are extremely old. And that's been sheltered by a roof and the facade. And look at, it's still disintegrated that far. And of course at the bottom, we have mud flood markings, but what's really interesting is on the front of the building down below, all that facade of course has been put on with fake lines. These lines are just fake to look like, to look like brick. But again, down below, this area right here goes to, well, you can see through there, there's a complete structure underneath the sidewalk of brick built all the way down, which shows that there were, there was structure here before, but the basement, well, I call it a basement, it's really the first floor but now seems to be a basement, although you wouldn't be tall enough to stand up. I'd say that's about six feet, um, roughly, underneath there. And you can see that at one point it came up to this height. But this is what it looks like underneath a building that has mud flood markings, as all the ones in Charleston do. Pretty much everywhere for that matter. But I'm starting to really be able to tell actual ages of these buildings by the disintegration of the red brick. If you think about a house that was built in the 1950s, a, ra a typical ranch style house, those bricks are not even disintegrated whatsoever and that's already 70 years ago. So if you double that, to when they're saying a lot of things were built in the late 1800s, they wouldn't be disintegrated at all. These bricks look hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years old at, at the least. I mean, we really don't know what it would look like to have a red brick after a thousand years, but the interior of these building structures is extremely old. Walking further down Queen Street, we see the building on the left here is brick. But at the bottom, there's a window that's been covered up. And the same thing, that will have a basement. And then these bricks are extremely old. If you look at the Structure of the brick. But all these buildings were red brick. All these facades that have been put on again are just a fake line and paint. Walk a little further down Queen Street. There's a Top of an arch window. And the same here. And across the street, that structure is extremely old, also, as everything here is. I don't want to sound redundant. <laughs> Everything's extremely old. <laughs> I 
I mean, pretty much everything is extremely old everywhere. It's just in one state of either preservation or decay or another. There's the top arch of a window. There's the top arch of a window. And these bricks have spent many, many years to, to get into a state like that. And this is another top arch of a window. And you can see up above, you can think of the many years it would take for plants to start growing out of the brick. I mean, I've never seen a house from the 50s with plants growing out of the brick. So I wouldn't imagine a house from 140 years, that's 50s is 70 years ago. I wouldn't imagine a house from 140 years ago would all of a sudden disintegrate and have plants growing out of the brick. But this entire building, even up to the rooftop, has plants growing out of the brick. How many years would that take? Put your vote in the comments below. I really don't know, but I would think a lot longer than you would think <laughs> initially by what, what we've been told. Here's another arch. Because this building is a massive just a massive red brick building. And if these red bricks held an electrical charge and operated as some sort of a, a battery system, which has been conjectured and there's scientific evidence to prove that, then we can understand why not only the entire buildings were made of them because those those red bricks contain iron and then they will be coupled with another type or another color which either operates um, like a battery or an insulation usually they'll be built on a different foundation the one at the end of the street has precisely that see a two two different types of brick and naturally they they look great or or look at de like decorations but there's also a potential purpose for that and the electrical nature of it and all the bottoms of these this building here have arches very clear and just cemented over and as we get closer to the water the level uh, the level of the mud buildup or the the um, the covering goes down So around the corner now, the front of this building, which at the top says 1880, like most buildings do, you say that they're built in the 1880s. But that building back behind us, that would only make that brick be 120, 30, 140 years old, two times a ranch house out in the suburbs. That brick does not look like that.
and down below here you'll notice if we can see through here that there it is an actual arched window well down below you can see it right there it's easier to see with your eyes you can see through it with the lens it's a little harder hopefully you can see you can see that there's another arch and it's cinder blocked in and you can see that the brick underneath here is extremely old so 1880 would not would not do that 1880 might be a remodeling but those red bricks are older than 140 years old.